Hi there, everyone, and welcome to the fourth episode of the FDU Softball Report here on FDUnites.com. John Lauder, along with the head coach of the FDU Softball team, Candy Letts. Coach, how are you? Doing great, John. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm sure you'd like to be playing more softball. Uh, this past weekend, it's supposed to be Robert Morris and St. Francis U, both postponed because of weather. Again, rain causing a problem here for you guys. Yeah, you just we just can't catch a break this year so far. But, you know, we're going to make those games up, and we're going to keep moving forward. Now, what have you guys been doing to try to stay stay fresh, stay ready in practice? Because obviously it's got to be hard for the girls. They're looking to play, they want to play, but yet these games keep getting postponed. You know, the good thing is we have uh, room for improvement in all phases of our game, and we're taking the time to get extra hitting in, which we need. Our pitchers are working on to make their game much uh, sharper. And overall defense, we're just picking things that we need to continue to improve on. Now, I'm sure that you guys kind of looked and analyzed and thought about those games against Bryant, the last games that you guys played. What were some of the things that the team kind of needed to work on that you thought was an issue in that game? Honestly, just uh, refocusing, get the mental game approach going for the second game after the first game. And, and we worked on that this weekend, which we had a team scrimmage. So we, we worked on the things that we felt will take us forward in a positive way. Now, uh, looking at the games coming up, St. Peter's, obviously out of conference, some thoughts on the Peacocks and what you expect to see from them. You know, they're, they've a team that will come up and bite you if you're not ready for them. You, you have to respect them. The record does not indicate what they can do and, and possibly can do. They've given some good teams good games, so we have to be ready to play our best game. Now, obviously it's not a conference game at this point. Does that affect things for the team at all, or does it really not matter? Um, it really doesn't matter. We just have to go out and work on uh, the things that we need to improve on to make ourselves even better in conference games. Now, speaking of conference play, looking at this weekend as well, you've got Central Connecticut State coming in, a couple of conference matchups. Just some thoughts on those games as well. Uh, Central, you know, is a repeating champion. They're, they're very, very good. Um, they've been beat up a little bit more this year than they have been used to, especially last year. But they're a team that you have to reckon with and you have to respect what they've done and accomplished. So we have to be ready to go. And they're going to come in. Their their um, backs are against the wall a little bit. They haven't been real fresh. So they're going to come out fighting. We have to be ready for that. And you've got the back-to-back -back Saturday and Sunday. Does that make it more difficult? You mentioned the focus at times. Two games Saturday, two games Sunday. Just talk about the difficulties that that might bring. You know, I think the only difficulty will be is if we don't take every bat, every pitch, and every play to our benefit to learn from each and every moment of those to move them forward so we can get better each pitch. Um, that will be the best thing about playing back-to-back -back is being fresh and seeing more pitching. Now, another aspect is you've got these out-of-conference games coming up, then you go into the conference play. Does it help that you've kind of got a couple of games to maybe try some different things or, or try to get yourselves ready for those two conference series? Because often now, late in the year, there's really not a lot of out-of-conference play. Right, I, and we have to use those games, our out-of-conference games, to propel us into conference by trying new things, changing up the lineup, getting some other pitchers some work for their, so they're ready to come in relief or a start role that hasn't been expected. All right. Well, Coach, good luck with the three series coming up. We hope they're all get played, and thank you so much for the time as always. Thanks, John. Have a great night. So we'll be broadcasting all those games, St. Peter's, 3 and 5 o'clock, then this weekend, doubleheaders on Saturday and on Sunday. So please go to FGUnites.com for all that information and also any new news or info on the FGUnites softball team.